This fact alone shocked many. An eight-year-old boy weighing only 32 pounds. Today, his adoptive parents were sentenced for starving him. Colin Ruane was in the courtroom today, where we also heard from the young boy's new parents. Yeah, Jessica, that young boy's new family faced plenty of emotional moments in the courtroom this morning before the judge handed down his sentence. Perhaps one of the most emotional is when his new adoptive mother addressed the court. This is what they did to him by not feeding him. In the courtroom, Shannon Foster and her family were emotional as she showed the court just how small her son Cameron was under the care of these two, Megan Finland and Stephen Bauer. We're bringing the clothes of him when we got him that a typical three-year-old would wear versus what a typical eight-year-old should wear, I think really brings it home. Foster watched as Cameron's former adoptive parents were cuffed and let out of the courtroom. They were both sentenced to five to ten years behind bars for five counts of negligent child abuse. The law is supposed to protect uh, the most vulnerable in our society to the utmost and that's why I think that it requires a, a, a greater sentence. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein thinks Judge Marlon Polk should have gone further. Again, Cameron was starved so badly, he weighed just 32 pounds as an eight-year-old. The state asked for the maximum 25 years. For the most part, it just kind of brings up some older memories of what it was like when we first got him. Uh, so that was, that, was, that was pretty tough. And having to relive it one more time wasn't easy for them, though they know Cameron, who was not in court, has a much bigger uphill battle. Our son lives with constant reminders. They're all around him all the time. Though with the love of his new family, they hope they can get him through it as much as they can. Before the sentence, Finland's attorney said Cameron's condition was bad before he was in the care of those former adoptive parents. Now, neither of them spoke in the courtroom today during the sentencing or when they were led out of the courtroom in handcuffs. Jessica, the Fosters say, they were happy they didn't have to hear from them at all.